there at the Hacienda. <clears throat> Normally this would turn into a windy canyon road down to the dam, but if everything goes right, that won't be the case. dam there's a turn off which is nice for the visitor center I'll be going there on my way back so I can take some pictures you can see the old road off to the side there and here's the new road doing <laughs> strong crosswind possible that's an understatement so we're driving over what used to be the checkpoint no stopping on the bridge. And here's the bridge. Interestingly enough, if you didn't know that that way and that way, that it was 1,300 feet down, well, you wouldn't really know, would you? They did a pretty good job of making this look pretty inconspicuous. Right to my left is the old, the old windy road that would go up and over the, the hill. Right down there you can kind of see the old checkpoint, which is now closed and empty since they're not letting traffic go that way. You gotta come this way. If you want to get to the dam, you have to come this way and turn around, go back, and get off on the Nevada side to get to the um, to get to the actual visitor center. And here comes the most ironic part of the whole bridge construction: is that that took about four minutes, and it would have normally taken about maybe fifteen or twenty, but that. Um, as soon as you get off the bridge, you hit the mountains of the Lake Mead National Reserve, or whatever it's called, and it's still under construction. So you still get hit with construction delays, blasting construction uh, on the road here, until you get out of the park and you get down to um, the actual two-lane 93. 
So that was my first trip across the dam. I'm going to take some pictures later this afternoon. All right.